I'm going to show you how to amend darn holes uh, in knitted work. And this is a sweater that my brother sent me. It's a lovely cashmere sweater that the moths have enjoyed eating. Um, this one, this sweater has two holes in it. There's the other one. There's the other one. So I'm going to show you how to to fix these holes so you really don't see it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it inside out so that we're working on the back. Okay, so here's the back of it. And normally, I, I would use a dark thread to kind of blend in, but I'm gonna do this in a yellow thread just so you can really see what's going on because I fear the black would be harder to see so and I'm just using a regular needle okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the right of the hole and a little bit below the hole got our columns going up okay and we've got our rows going across our little pearl rows going across all right so I'm just going to go just a little bit below the hole and a little to the right of it I'm going to nab a I'm gonna go these loops. I'm just gonna tie my thread off there to secure it. And then I'm just gonna find one of these columns and start working up. And I don't wanna get, I just wanna catch my needle just on the back side here. I'm gonna make sure I don't get on the front side especially since I'm using yellow thread. I don't think my brother would appreciate that. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it over real quickly and make sure that I don't see my needle, and I don't. Okay, uh, and you know, if I'm using the black thread, I, I don't need to worry as much about it, but I'm just gonna use the yellow for, so you can see best. All right, I'm just gonna pull that through. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go down the next column over. If you've got magnifiers, now's a good time to use those. I don't. Okay, let me just make sure I didn't see I'm afraid of that. So I'm gonna try that again. Okay, that's better. Don't see my needle. And I'm just going to keep going that way now. Right here, I'm going to catch these little threads where the moths stop their nibbling on the side. Okay. I'm just going to skip over. I come a little bit farther down here, I think.
He actually sent me two sweaters. It was my lucky day, and I did one of them last night. It is oddly rewarding. I thought I would save this one, show you guys today. When I send these back to him, I am also going to, okay, see, I'm going to grab the little one on the little loops on the edge there. I'm going to work those in too. Anyway, when I send this back to him, I'm going to send back um, a bottle of eucalyn, which is a um, either lavender or eucalyptus. You can get it in different scents. Lavender or eucalyptus rinse free wool wash. Uh, to which will repel these little critters. Because as much as I don't mind doing this, I don't want to do it all the time. Oops, sorry. see where the hole was but we're not gonna worry we're gonna take care of that all right so we've got all around it going one way and now we're gonna go the other way so let's turn it and I'm just gonna go up once again on the outside there. If you can, you can weave these threads in the middle where the hole is. You can weave your needle above and underneath and over them. And I'm barely pulling on this. You don't want it to pucker.
Okay. I'm just going to work one more. Turn that over. And I have to find the hole. Let's see. Ah! There it is. That's on the back side. Okay, we turn that over to the front side. And it's right there. You can't even see it. If I get real close, you can see the little bit of yellow in there. But you have to really stretch the wool. So you know what, honestly, I was gonna rework that in black, but I don't think I'm going to. I think that is just fine. If I just steam that a little, I'm actually gonna wash these in the eucalyn, um, and he won't even notice. There you go. I did forget to tell you to, to just tie off. I'm just gonna just work my yarn in. All right. It is oddly satisfying. There it is again. Right there. 